what's up YouTube this is crazy horse I'm doing a guitar giveaway I'm gonna play some of my guitars um, I've got a Paul Reed Smith custom 24 that's beautiful and uh, one of the best guitars I've ever played I've got a Les Paul custom which is a 1960 reissue you can see some of these here um, although I don't have the lights on there's the Paul Reed Smith and I got a cheap Chinese copy of a Paul Reed Smith uh, Custom 24 which I can't recommend and there's my Black Star amp which I can recommend because it's awesome um, I've also got a PRS SC uh, single cut over there someplace and uh, that's probably the one I'm gonna give away uh, it's a great guitar 400 to 500 dollar range uh, guitar plays like a Paul Reed Smith it's a little bit lighter weight. The uh, the neck doesn't feel as good as the Paul Reed Smith American made uh, model. Um, but it's a good guitar and it stays in tune and it sounds great. The electronics are great and the neck on it is pretty good. Um, so that's probably the one I'll give away. If you want the Chinese copy, uh, let me know because um, I'll probably throw that in. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I, I played it for a few minutes and the frets cut me. I don't know if you can see that on the side of my finger there, and it shredded my skin and cut through the skin like a snake bite. Um, look at that. So I was going to sell these on Amazon if they were good guitars, but the electronics is terrible. Um, you know, the pickups are like microphones, basically cheap pickups. Um, the neck is, you know, it doesn't stay in tune. The neck needs work. The frets aren't finished. Um, the guitar itself looks okay, looks decent, I'll show you in the video. Um, but no, I wouldn't sell it on Amazon and I wouldn't recommend buying one from Alibaba like I did for $300. But if you want it, um, and I give away the uh, PRS SE single cut, if you want the Chinese copy, I will throw that in for free and you get two guitars. So please sign up um, the link below, www.crazyhorsebkk.com. I'm just uh, doing this to promote our Leaving California sale. i got to get rid of some stuff, including some guitars, because um, we're moving to Florida. Get the hell out of California. And um, and to promote my YouTube channel, Crazy Horse BKK, and my Instagram, Crazy Horse BKK. So uh, help me out. Um, you, you get a $500 PRS uh, Korean-made guitar and a free Chinese copy that if you want to work on it and redo the frets and redo the neck truss rod and put some new pickups in it might be worthwhile to you. I'm not going to do that work, so... PRS Custom 24. Smith, custom 24, it's beautiful. So you can see the finish is kind of flat on the Chinese copy. Everything else kind of looks normal. I've been, I've been uh, trying to tune this for about the last five minutes. It, uh, it won't hold a tune.
I mean, you can hear the feedback from the amp because these are these pickups are like microphones, basically, and you could hear just a couple of bars in one song. It's already out of tune. horribly out of tune um, and I cut my finger let's see can you see that yeah cut my finger on the bloody uh, unfinished fretwork here so this guitar cost me about 300 bucks on Alibaba and uh, it's already cut me and it won't stay in tune Oh, it's terrible. Oh, Jesus. And it uh, looks like a guitar. And I was going to give it away if it played all right, but I can't give this away in good conscience, and I wouldn't recommend you buy a cheap Chinese guitar on Alibaba, because this is... I mean, for it to stay in tune, it would need neck work. It needs fret work. I mean, the frets on the front don't look too bad. The strings are probably shit. I need to replace those. This saddle looks pretty terrible. Um, the pickups are pretty useless. So I bought this because I was thinking about selling it on Amazon if it was any good. But that's impossible. It's a piece of shit. Look at that. Alright, so don't buy this. Alibaba Chinese guitar. I'd love to recommend it to help them out, but uh, looks like a guitar. But unless you're uh, into working on guitars, I wouldn't recommend it. And I wouldn't play it right out of the box because you're going to get a cut on your finger, like I just got. That kind of pisses me off. Yeah, right there, like a snake bite. This, the third example, is a PRS SE single cut made in Korea uh, under license from uh, Paul Reed Smith. It's really good through my uh, Black Star amp and uh, with the uh, with the overdrive especially doesn't feel as good in your hands as uh, Paul Reed Smith, U.S. made. Uh, the 
neck's not as nice. I don't know what it is exactly. Feels a little light, um, but it works. It's a guitar. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've seen videos where people say this is as good as a Paul Reed Smith. It's not. But for, you know, four or five hundred bucks, you get, you get a pretty good instrument, uh, especially to uh, learn on or play, you know, and play at home. doesn't cut you. So I might give this one away. Um, you know, it's a mid-priced uh, guitar. It's a good guitar. Anybody be uh, happy to play it. It does stay in tune. The electrics, uh, the electronics on it are pretty good. So maybe this is the one I will give away. The PRS SE single cut. So this is my go-to X. A 1960s reissue Les Paul Classic. Uh, probably won't be giving this away. You see the 1960 there on the pick guard. Um, but this thing sounds beautiful. Uh, PRS has not, my PRS, my Paul Reed Smith, uh, has not really exceeded this yet, but it does stay in tune better. string doesn't stay in tune, but it sounds amazing. These are the guitars, Paul Reed Smith, Les Paul Custom, um, a cheap uh, Chinese copy of a Paul Reed Smith, which uh, I can't recommend, uh, mostly because the frets are unfinished and it trashed my finger to play along the fretboard, cut me, got a little snake bite there, and I don't know if you can see the skin is shredded because they didn't finish the frets. Uh, you would think if they're going to make a guitar um, they would finish the frets. That's... I don't know. I would. I think that's a pretty essential part of the guitar. I can't move my hand on it without getting cut. I was checking those out to see if I wanted to sell them on Amazon on my store. Um, Geo approved. Uh, like my son's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but no. I mean, they don't stay in tune, the electronics are pretty pretty crappy, and uh, the frets are terrible. I mean, if you want to buy a guitar for $300 and put a lot of work and a lot of, you know, if you're going to do the work yourself, I guess, 
refinish the frets, put new pickups in it, um, do something about the truss rod so it stays in tune. Uh, but no. Uh, the guitar I'll probably give away um, is the uh, PRS SE copy made in Korea. It's a under license from Paul Reed Smith, which is an excellent guitar. Mid range price, four to five hundred dollars. It's a single cut black. You'll see, I'll play it. That's prob probably the one I'll give away. So, you know, feel free to tell me in the comments which guitar you want, and I'll see what I can do. And we'll pick a uh, contest winner by random on uh, Valentine's Day. Um, and if you want more chances to win, follow the instructions on my uh, website, www.crazyhorsebkk.com. And uh, this is you know my contest it's being run by me I'll make sure you get your guitar it's not being run by YouTube in any way they're not responsible for it I am um, but sign up and uh, you can get a $500 thereabouts $450 PRS SE guitar I was going to give away the Chinese copy in fact if you want it and you're selected as the winner let me know and I'll throw it in for free I'll give you two guitars um, because I'm not going to work on it I'm not going to fix it um, but anyway, uh, check it out on uh, you know the link below, crazyhorsebkk.com, um, and uh, thanks for playing. Mm -hmm.